God bless you. This is Professor Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. Today we are looking at the reasons why men are still single. Why you see a guy who is who has come of age, he has he has passed the age, maybe the standard, the age that the, the, the society has said. You are overdue for marriage. You have everything that you need. A good job, maybe a prosper, a, a, a successful business. You have all that it takes. But you just are not married. We are going to be looking at some of the possible reasons why men are still single. And the first thing on the list is that their, their lives have not been sorted out. You have many unanswered questions. You don't know exactly what you are supposed to do to be doing. You don't know exactly what is expected of you. You have so much going on in your life in in very haphazard manner. Your life is not organized. You don't know exactly. So it is hard for you to bring in a helper until you sort out what they are coming to help you with. It is hard for you to bring in a helper. Your career is going in one direction. You have so many unfinished projects. You, 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 you have a business. You are working on two businesses. You are working on at the same time. You are applying for a job at the same time. You want to travel abroad at the same time. And you, you want to further your studies at the same time. You want to go in for your PhD or for your master's. So much going on and you end up doing nothing. So your life has so much going on that it is going nowhere. You can't bring someone to come and follow you if you are going nowhere. So you realize that you have so much on your hands that you, you, marriage is not even on your mind. Another thing is you have not prioritized marriage. Everyone has 24 hours. Everyone has the same time frame per day. You are, you, are, you are successful with your job. You are successful with your business. Every, we are, for those of you in, in ministry, you are successful with your ministry. And everything is going on well, career-wise, professional-wise. You just haven't prioritized marriage. You just haven't thought of giving some time, allocating some time for marriage, allocating some time to really build up a relationship. It's a conscious decision that you have to make. It takes a deliberate decision for you to do that. You just have not done that yet. You've not prioritized marriage. Another thing, reason why men are single, they are not ready to leave their mothers. They are not ready to leave their father and their mother. They are not ready to leave their families. The Bible says, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and will cling on to a woman. You are not ready to leave your mom. You are still mommy's son, mommy's boy. Every little thing you want to go back to think, to ask your mom what she thinks about this. What does your mom say? Every small relationship that you have, you are telling the girl, this is how my mom wants you to be. This is what my mom wants. This is what my mom expects. You are not getting married to her for your mom. You just have not outgrown your father and your mother and most especially your mom because that wife to an extent is going to replace the place of a to take the place of your mother in your life that's the reality that we don't want to understand and some of us and some of you are not ready to draw that line some of you don't just love yourself good enough You've gone through so many issues. You've gone through, maybe you have a broken heart. Ladies have betrayed you in time past. And you, you are so hurt that you just cannot let go. So everyone that you meet, you are comparing them to your ex. Everyone that you meet, you are trying to, 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 to match them up to your ex. Maybe you messed up and you lost a girl, a lady that was good, so good. Or maybe you loved a lady so much and they betrayed you. You are either trying to match them up and compare them to your ex or you are looking to see if they don't have the same attributes that your ex had. Some of you have not just gone past your ex. And some just, you, you don't love yourself enough. So you don't have a, enough love to even give out to another person. Because love is supposed to flow. You, you can't give what you don't have. You are supposed to give from the overflow. From the overflow. Some of you men are just so scared of commitment. You are just so scared of responsibility. That's the only reason you are not married. 
You are just scared of being responsible for somebody's life, being responsible for some, having to bring forth children and taking responsibility, having to commit to one lady. Some of you, you are just so used to seeing so many ladies that you cannot stand being restricted to just one lady, being committed to just one lady. But you know what? At the end of the day, you still have to settle down. At the end of the day, you still have to settle down. You still have to get married. So why not do it right now? Why not get married right now? You have everything. You are waiting to... You are waiting to have millions in your account before you get married. Why not get married now? And grow with that lady. When you have millions in your account, you are not going to know who is coming to you because of what you have. Who is coming to you because they truly love you for you. I want to hear your testimony after this. If you are that guy that has been seriously thinking about settling down and you don't know what has been happening to you, then watch this to the end, to this point, and then have that reality check to know exactly what your problem has been. I am open for counseling. I am open for counseling. If you need a counseling session, if you need help, I am open for counseling. I'm, I'm ready to help you pass this level. God bless you. I want to hear your testimony that months after now you are married. Shalom.